Looky here. Better than a what? A goat roper. A goat roper. Coarse kosher salt. I like coarse kosher salt. That's what I like. You might say coarse kosher salt, but that's not what I say. All right. Hang in there with me, y'all. Not perfect. Learning. You happy to see the snow? You talking to me? Who else is in here? Mm, no, I ain't happy to see no snow. Wow, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. It's prettier than rain. Yeah, it leaves a pretty mess. Yeah, but so does rain. It's gonna go do anything. Way. Go the other way. Oh, go this way, so I don't go through a bunch of mess. Hey, you know what I'm gonna start calling you? No tell. <laughs> Sheep wrangler. I think I'm gonna get a sh uh, have a shirt made with your picture that says Sheep Wrangler. <laughs> Better than a what? A goat roper. A goat roper. Sheep Wrangler, goat roper. Um, a lot of people pointed out that LB should now stand for linebacker. I was for nine years. He was for nine years. I knew you, I mean, he played football, major football in high school, and I didn't know what position you so that's perfect. Linebacker, sheep wrangler, but not a goat roper. That's fine, we can handle that. A lot of people thought your skills were pretty great. The way you fell on the goat, I mean the sheep. <laughs> I just wish I'd gotten that on video. I missed a prime opportunity there. But anyway, all's well that ends well. Wife, two kids that can run. Man had to catch a sheep. <laughs> he said he has a wife and two kids that can run. And the old crippled man had to be the one to catch the sheep. Yeah, but your wife is the one that hauled it up out of the woods. Yeah. Right? Yeah, she done good too. She done good. We make a good team. You wrestle, I'll haul. <laughs> Well, that escalated quickly. How long have we been gone? Uh, an hour and a half. <laughs> Got a little bit of snow. It's like a winter wonderland. Farm is so pretty in the snow. I hear children screaming and I heard dogs barking. I need to go get some meat out of the freezer. They are feeding the sheep and Elmo's supper. It's so pretty y'all. I don't like the extra moisture, but I do love seeing snow. It's just so quiet and still and pretty. Oh, Stella. Hey, Stella. The milk cow is here, too. Looky here. Y'all found enough snow to, s to pull, pull around in, huh? Have you already fed? <laughs> hey, Elmo, Smelmo. You're all warm. Warm and dry. Good place to be. How is Olive and Geronimo? Hey, babies. What do you say? It's snowing out there. <laughs> Aren't you glad you're in here? <laughs> it's Elmo's hay. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Are you having fun? <laughs> yep. 
Yes, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> she just ran and jumped in it. Oh, you're going to be so wet. <laughs> I'm going to let them have at it. I'm going to take this meat inside and cook supper. Well, we woke up to a little bit of snow still on the ground. Right, Bonnie? And my hands are freezing, but I walked up this road. There go the pups. Just to be able to take some pictures with my good camera and show you on video. So, there we go, a snow rise. <laughs> it's really pretty. So quiet, so still, so pretty. And the roads, the roads are good. So this is, this is not a bad snow, not bad at all. A little frosty start. <laughs> Just a little bit. What do you think, Bonnie? Bonnie said, I like the snow. I was eating it earlier. <laughs> it's pretty. Might not be fun to work in, but it's pretty. Well, the kids are out. <laughs> They're out doing their thing. Bonnie, let's go. Gone are the days where we have to, I have to bundle them up and go with them and help them in a way that's good and in a way that's sad. not that cold this morning it's in the 30s but it feels colder than normal for some reason I don't, I don't know it's just it's a little windy I don't know it's the wind blowing off the snow or what but my hands are staying cold my feet are cold Lawrence agrees it feels cold this morning maybe it's maybe it's just in my head our heads because it's snow on the ground but anyway at least the sun is shining sun is shining. It's blinding. I had to put my glasses on. Still mud. It's 
still plenty of mud. This isn't a cooking video because I didn't show, but I made spaghetti tonight. I make spaghetti like the really easy way. Hamburger. Um, spaghetti sauce, I just use like out of a jar. And tonight I use this new seasoning that I got recently that I've been putting on everything from eggs to steak to everything. And tonight I decided to only use this in my spaghetti sauce. And what, what did you just tell me, Lawrence? <clears throat> the gunpowder tastes good. That's the good it's ever made. <laughs> he said the gunpowder tastes good. It's called musket powder. Homemade, camp tested. Yeah, we were sitting at a table. He and my son both said, well, you did something different tonight. It tastes, it tastes even better than normal. I'm saying even better because it's usually good, right? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I'll put the link for it in my description. Check it out. Musket powder. <laughs> it's a mitten kind of morning in it, Bonnie. Bonnie said, I don't know. I don't have any mittens. But I have a snout and a smell of mouse. Also, we have bird. We have bird turds. Huh. Well, snow is mainly gone, but we got some frost. And I think it's more frozen than it was yesterday, isn't it? Yep. It's cold. It's in the 20s. But it feels cold. Sunshine, which is good. Pandas out there. Do not let go during this ride. I forgot the rule. Well, I'm sitting here waiting on the silage wagon, reading some comments from yesterday's video. Oh, I need to stretch. Um, so evidently I said it wrong and I titled it wrong, which I just changed. I think I, I said tire rod. Cause to me it made sense because it was like holding tires, but evidently it's a tie rod end. So yeah, we'll just chalk that one up to another thing that Meredith didn't know and didn't say correctly. But she now knows and will try to say correctly in the future, along with Gale. It's a Gale grinder. Yeah. All right, hang in there with me, y'all. Not perfect. Learning. Yeah. Thank you. Can you hold it, please? This is a tough dip, but it ain't quite 16. This is how it's up it would be a lot louder for some reason. It's not loud at all. I don't really know what he's doing, but I'm going to find out and I'm going to tell you later. Tapering a, You're what? I'm tapering a socket on the end so it'll go up and fit on a nut. Okay. Tapering a socket on the end so it'll go up and fit on a nut. What's it for? A nut for what? It's a socket for the railroad. 
a junk ball for an 85 pound rail. What are you using that for? I ain't using it for nothing. Well, that's what I want to know. So why are you doing it? I'm doing it for Ray. Oh, you're doing it for somebody else. That makes good sense. Somebody that does work on the rail. <laughs> it's so weird looking. It's all jumbled up there. Yeah, that. Okay. So it just spins and shaves. Spins and shaves. Mm -hmm. First time I've ever seen a lathe go in my whole life. Didn't even know what one was till this showed up on the farm. But now I have a slight idea. Huh. Lawrence's custom lathe work. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Not hardly. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to mash some potatoes. Later, Gators. He doesn't like the idea of custom lathe work. He was frustrated at first because I showed up with my camera because my son came and told me that he was about to use it and I hadn't seen it used yet. He's not very sure of his lathing, lathing abilities? Lathing. If it wasn't a word, it is now. So anyway, I'm going inside to mash some potatoes to go with a chuck roast and whatever else I can find, probably out of a can. Yeah, and that's, that's what we're doing for supper. Okay, so how do I cook um, mashed potatoes like this? I cut up potatoes, usually red. I leave the skin on because I'm lazy and I like the skin. So it all works out really well. I boil them with a lot of salt and then I'm gonna add more salt and a lot of butter, potentially some cream cheese, potentially some cream, potentially some half and half, whatever I have in my refrigerator and maybe milk. Okay, here we go. I've got my little tripod set up. How about that? I do have a piece of cream cheese I'm gonna use for my taters and some butter and some half and half because half and half is better than milk. It has more flavor than milk. And um, flavor's where it's at, right y'all? Okay, salt. I like coarse, coarse, coarse kosher salt. I like coarse kosher salt, that's what I like. You might say coarse, kosher, salt, but that's not what I say. All right, I'm gonna flip this thing down. I'm gonna dump it all in and then I'm gonna mash it up with my favorite masher from the local antique store. Yeah, who has one of these? Are you with me? They're amazing. Better than that plastic stuff. I had a plastic one. It just didn't hold up to all the mashing very well. So I went and found this one which one time had a bunch of red lead paint on it and it kept chipping off. And some of that chipped lead paint would find its way into my mashed potatoes. And I'm thinking that's probably not very healthy. So I just peeled it all off and this is what we have. Okay, we're gonna see how this goes. It's very hot next to my face, so I'm gonna get away from there. Okay. My little filled peas and snaps going. Can you see? No, you can't see them. Okay. Anyway, um, salt. The the key to good potatoes is salt. Lots of salt. I learned that a long time ago. You honestly almost cannot have too much salt. Butter, butter, butter. That is not enough butter. Butter. Um, cream cheese coming right up. Uh, has a little bit of fuzz on it, so I'm not going to use that corner. Okay. And I'm going to mash this first before I put the liquid. This is also, I just, I like, I like being able to, for you to see my face. This is also good exercise.
You know what I'm saying? Where are we at? There, we're there? Okay. We're living and learning here, y'all. Between tripods and GoPros. We're just going to pour in some of that. And then we're going to stir. And we're going to slosh a little bit of it out. And that's okay. That's what happens in the kitchen. Clean it up when it's all said and done. And that's, that's not bad. That's not a bad consistency. I don't mind my potatoes. Woo, come back, Jack. I don't mind my potatoes a little lumpy. I really don't. It doesn't bother me. My mom would always cream the potatoes with a hand mixer. I don't even own a hand mixer. Who doesn't own a hand mixer? Me. I don't. Um, I just use a masher. So, anyway, to each their own. Okay. And then what you have to do, hold on. Where am I at? You have to get a spoon and you have to, you have to taste it with your left hand, even if you're right-handed because you're trying to vlog it. Mmm. Those bad boys are right. I don't think they need anything else except in our bellies. Okay, there you go. That's how I make mashed potatoes. 110% delicious. Whether they're healthy or not, they're delicious. And honestly, that's all that matters right now. Anyway, go with me. Oh, the chuck roast. I just put it in the crock pot. It doesn't look like much, y'all, but you just kind of trust me. It's delicious. Oh, guess what I used on it? Are you ready? Same thing I used last night and every night this week. Musket powder. Gunpowder, as Lawrence called it. Gunpowder seasoning. It's good stuff. I seriously love a chuck roast. I think it is the best roast. I love a sirloin tip cooked with that, um, closed oven method. Pretty sure I shared that with y'all. If I didn't, I meant to. If I didn't, I will. Let me know. Um, but I do love a chuck roast. And you can use it so many ways. You can just shred it up and put barbecue sauce on it. I like it just plain like this, but I'll put barbecue sauce on the table for the other people in case that's what they want. You could shred it up and use it in enchiladas or tacos or anything. It's just, it's a good piece of meat, okay? And then we're having frozen filled peas and snaps because that's what I had. So, supper is ready. Come and get it. Well, the mashed potatoes were a hit. My daughter said they were the best she's ever had. So that's good. Also, I will never win an Olympic sport, but if dish stacking was ever offered, I think I could win. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> right? You got it, babe. I got skills. Ain't nobody else gonna pile them up like that. Nobody else is gonna pile them up like yes, other people stack their dishes. They do. But I'm I'm very good at it because I detest to dry them. I'd rather let them dry themselves and put them away later. The end.